Hello and welcome to Meanwhile back on the hobby farm. You're wondering why you got a can of cat food right here. Well, what I do is Betty, our turkey, has got a really bad sinus blockage. Her whole right side of her face is swollen. Tried the amoxicillin for a week, 10 days. That didn't work. So I got her on this new stuff. It's a Thailand 50. Going to give her a one and a half millimeters twice a day. And if any of you have given um, use these annoying things. These injections for diabetes, because we have a dog that's diabetic, it literally takes about 10 minutes every night. To, I have to get one and a half one of these, squirt it in here on, that's where the cat food can comes in, on top of some oatmeal. And I got to do this one and a half times, and I usually make one up ahead of time. It's a nuisance. So I went out and bought an eyedropper today that has measurements on it. And I'm going to take the top off of this bottle, and I'm going to quickly get what I need, put it in here. But oatmeal, and I use cheap store-bought maple syrup, which really isn't maple syrup. It's just sugar and water with food coloring. I don't eat that crap, but hey, the turkey doesn't know the difference. I put it in there, and I mix it all in here with this. I did this one this morning because... Um, it's nasty taste. And how do I know? I stuck my finger in there and tasted this medicine. It is nasty. Um, I must make it just right because she eats this whole can up in about a minute, minute and a half. So that's good. We're going to put this on pause and go out there and feed her. Hey, I made it outside. Look who I got waiting over here for me. I have, come here. Come here, DC. Come here. Did you enjoy that wind today? Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Let me give you some, let me give you some lovings, huh? Yes. How you doing? How you doing, huh? You good boy, huh? Are you a good boy? Yeah, I brought you your wet food. Yeah, you like that wet food. He gets a can of this every morning and every night, along with dry food. He's getting fat. Hi, how you doing, good boy? I'm gonna try to put this down and. and Open up this can in one hand and hold this camera in the other. Hey, look what I got for you, buddy. You come over here, put this on a coffee can lid for him. Looks like he's got enough food left for tonight. Don't want to overfeed it because the raccoons get it. Okay, the only ones that can't get to that toilet seat entrance is the two turkeys and I am alternating every other day a turkey comes out because Gilbert Godfrey over here is not very nice to his girlfriend, Betty, and he not only wants to get frisky with her, he's very rough and he's mean and he pecks her head and what have you. So what I do every day when I come in at the end of the day is I kind of walk him in here quickly, then I shut the gate behind me or the goats are going to come out. Yeah, you guys. Yes, that is an apron that you see on some of my uh, chickens. And the reason why that is, is because the roosters are a little bit too rough with their spurs when they engaging in their extracurricular adult activity. So what I do is I open up this, this door over here. So Gilbert, no, hey Gilbert, get in there. Hey Gilbert, get in there. Now I can shut it behind me. The goose and the ducks, they can get inside this toilet seat entrance, but it's just too small for... Gilbert. How you doing, Betty? I was just talking about you. Hey, look what I got for you. Some medicine. How's that eye looking? It's not as red, but it's still swollen. And is it getting any better? Uh, no. So it looks like I'm going to have to lance that sometimes this week. Here you go. Hey, she's got her own feeding station. She will stay here all day, 24-7. Not good. Uh, so what I do is today, Gilbert got to go outside, 
Tomorrow, Gilbert stays in, and she gets to go outside, and she'll roam around and have a good time. If I let them both out at the same time, she runs away from him because he's rough on her, and she hides all day um, underneath the goat platform, and we don't see her until lockup, and that's not very nice. So look at her eat that food up. She's saying, Dad, you mix it up just right. Doesn't know it's medicine. We're going to fill up this water container here. How you doing there, Gilbert? Some of the water over here. I know everybody's hungry. I'm going to try to do this one hand. This is my daily routine. Is an empty can from this morning. I'm going to take that in this evening. Tonight is goat feeding grain for the for the goats. So what I got to do is this is hot. I should have put this on my uh, my headband. So we will take our home, I call it our home brewed feed. It's, uh, there is a local pellets from a, a, a grain elevator, but also with kalbash and also with sunflower seeds. This is safflower seeds. There's dry cat food in there and there's cracked corn. Mix it all together and watch how popular. I'm a popular guy here, folks. Look at this. More birds love me than people. We'll throw one in there. Watch them go nuts. We do another scoop because it's just too many birds. So we'll do another scoop here. And we'll come around over here and fill up this tray. And that's for the crowded group. It's usually the same ones that eat out of the same container. And it looks like my friend over there is almost done with her medicine. So I'll throw in a little bit more stuff in there for her. We're going to shut this because I'm going to use this scoop and I'm going to get some grain to the goats. Okay, it's hard to do this with one hand. I just filled up her thing. She ate all of her medicine. How you doing, girl? We're going to get that swelling down. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the chickens, I have a third area. I just put a little bit in there for those shy ones that don't like being around the other chickens. I'll throw some in here. Look at those eggs, folks. I'm going to come back for those eggs because the goats will clobber me if I try to get those and walk out there with some grain for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these in there for now. Get some goat grain. And the goats know every other day they get their grain and they get Christmas trees to eat and they get crackers and they get all kinds of treats. These guys are spoiled. Hey, what's going on over there, Gilbert? Stop bullying the chickens. It's a wonder you don't have any friends. How you doing, girl? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, have some water. Have some water. I'll put it down here for you. You just pooped on a chicken below you. Well, we have th all three aprons are still on. This one over here kept on getting that apron off, and it looks like it's almost off. Really helps their back. It saves them from bleeding and becoming raw. Okay, we're going to come out of here and watch how I'm going to have to run because these goats are going to swarm me because they know it's grain day. Yes, girls. Hey! I got some grain. Who wants some grain? I got to put it up in the air, folks. Walk up with my arms up in the air. Well, they will knock me down. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. So, while I'm in the barn, I'll get some more eggs. Chickens have another favorite spot that they like to... It looks like they stripped all these trees down. I'm going to go around and throw them another Christmas tree. Come on, girls. Oh, girls, looks like they chewed the end off of that tree. Come on there, Captain. We're waiting for you. They love the grain. Can't give them too much, though, especially for males. Not good. Come on, guys. Uh, all right. We got to put them in separate containers or they hog them. 
And some of them will follow me around to each one of them like they're going to miss out or something. Five goats, I have four buckets that I put them in. Okay, got three goats right here. What I do for Captain is he's handicapped. That's not politically correct these days, is it? Handicapped. Physically challenged. We don't want to upset any Karens here. These are the smaller ones. They get bullied around. See, they're bullying over there. Look at them. Look at them. They fight over it. Guys, there's two other containers of food. Come on, girls. Guys. Look, there's some right in here. Girls, right here. You know, they, they're so food aggressive, they got to push each other away. Look, at there's a whole bunch in there. There you go. I do cater to the ones that are a little bit more physically challenged and let them eat right out of the bucket. But yeah, I mean, you got four buckets and they all have to hog the same ones. These two are going to fight over this one. I know, I'm taking good care of you, ain't I, Captain? There's more in this one here. Come on, girls. See some eggs in there. Oh, I just maybe drop those. What do we got for eggs in here, guys? We got two eggs in here today, guys. I hope we have a lot more inside the coop. I only saw about five in there. Really would like 18. Watch out. All right. It's like an Easter egg hunt out here every day. Got to make sure there's none in there. They haven't been laying any in there. That's it, Captain. It's all gone. Is there any in here? Come on. You got to move that leg. I don't see any in there. So I think they had a... Oops. Watch your foot. All right, watch your foot. All right. Looks like they still got some more of this tree left, so I'm not going to give them another tree tonight. I'm going to turn it over for them. There's some more hay here. Brought this out yesterday. They haven't eaten it all. So what I'll do is I'll roll it up there. I'm going to get some rain tonight. I think snow tomorrow morning. Two to five inches. I think it's supposed to be back in the forties this weekend, so it'll be gone. I'm not even going to break out the snow shovel. Just going to drive right around, drive right on it, and let it melt Saturday and Sunday. It's starting to get muddy out here again. And I see a chicken, a hen coming out of the old. Look at these two frisky ones. They are frisky. Any eggs in there? Oh, I see an egg in there. I got to go in there and go get it. That's going to be a chore. Hey, stop being a hornball. Hey, can you go in there and give me that egg? Can you go get me that egg? Can you go get me that egg? Look at this one. I'm boss. I got to eat most of the grain, he said. Look at that. Must be sugar buzz. It is a sweet grain. What are you guys doing? All right. I'm going to come back around in here. See what I can get for some eggs. I've got two here. I don't believe I saw any this morning. Hey girls, remember me? Are you still eating? Are you still eating, girl? Look at that swollenness, huh? Uh, are you still are you still eating? You get to have out the recess tomorrow. It's gonna be snowy and crappy out. Sorry about that. Alright, what do we got here, girls? We've got two eggs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it, eight eggs. There's one out there, nine. We're about uh, seven or eight short here. Like I said, you sometimes have to walk around. Make sure there's none in that bag. What did I say? Nine? We had nine. Oh, I see some more. Right in there. So let's put this here. 10, 11, 
12. Hey, still better than the one egg we were getting with the old tractor supply feed. Never doing that again. So we got 12. And there's my uh, girl, look at the bum leg. How you doing there, buddy? How you doing? Okay, we're gonna go back out here for a second. And it's not letting me pause it. And I don't know why. I like my old phone better. 